How's it going? Jasper here. If you watched the previous two videos I put on this channel, you would know that I was in Tokyo, Japan from December 2022 uh, for a month and a half till uh, Jan 2023 this year. During that time, I actually did a lot of photo walks, city hikes in Tokyo, Japan, and I actually captured a lot of photos and recorded a lot of videos. Because I didn't really record a lot of talking headshots, it was a bit hard for me to make those into like a vlog type of video but as i was going through the footages and also the photos i figured maybe it could be interesting where i just share the photos and the footages and then give you guys a bit of a voice over it's sort of like I, i'm bringing you guys on virtual travel in tokyo japan in different areas where i i explored so all the photos i'm about to share in this video i'm actually going to post them on the light source app full disclaimer i actually made this app myself it's quite an early stage app uh, the reason why I made this app is because uh, I want to have a platform where people can share uh, their photo walks and, and also city hikes through photography and also share the locations where they took those photos. If you're interested, go on the link I shared below. You don't have to sign up to see all the photos. That's enough talking. Um, and let's go on this virtual travel to Kichijoji and Nakano area in Tokyo. So the day actually started off with me going to Yoyogi um, to grab a coffee at a coffee shop called Fuglin. The area was super nice. It was a really nice weather as well. The stroll was super chill. The coffee was great. A lot of people though, I think it's a pretty touristy spot, but the coffee is pretty fruity and sourish, which is what I like. And I actually started off the day with my Leica M8 on that particular day. But now I switched to my X-T5 and made it to Kichijoji. Kichijoji really is a very desirable place to live in, in Tokyo. Because it's, it is not in central Tokyo, but it's super convenient to go into central Tokyo by train. Um, the reason why I came to Kichijoji was because there is a park nearby called Inokashira Park. I actually caught up with my friend the night before and then he told me that you can still catch some red leaves there. So that's why I went there to catch some last minute red leaves. After I took some red leaves shots, I went back to the uh, city area. And I went to Nakano, which is close by. It's also on the same train line. Now, Kano has very narrow alleyways. Um, you will always find interesting shots, but I struggled a little bit after a while because they all kind of look the same to me. But Nakano is super fun to explore uh, good restaurants, uh, local eats, and also where you can get some drinks. And then I went to a camera shop and got these Context 90mm G lens. I straight away adapted that lens to my X X-T5 and took all of these videos and photos on the way back. The compression that this focal length gives is super nice. Here are a couple more photos that I took on today. Overall, it was a super great photo walk day. I covered a lot of interesting areas. 
which I will be uploading to my LifeSource app. Check it out if you want. Until next time, ciao.